Hey guys, in this tutorial we are trying to uh, mic a third party endpoint um, using PHP unit. For using microwave from PHP unit, you need to download the, or use the PHP, uh, sorry, the microwave basically repository and the microwave class, micro package itself. So microwave will give us a lot of, I mean, a lot of abilities that we could use it to mark the classes and do a lot of stuff on it. So I have used the MyQuery, the HTTP foundation from Symfony to grab the request and the PHP unit framework itself. So as you can see in this code, we have a, a user controller, which in this user controller, we have a constructor, which we are passing the account. What is the account? The account is a service, a third party API that we are calling and um, we are getting the user information based on the request ID. The request ID is just a just an ID which we pass to this service and this service will return for us the user information. As you can see here we have a store method and into this store method we are grabbing the request and uh, we using the request uh, to get the request ID from the request. As you can see here we are accessing the account and then the get info. If we go to the account uh, class we can see it has only one method and this method accepting a request ID and the method name is get info in the get info we are using the mm, Gazelle client to send a request to the ps.account.info which is a service and passing the request ID and then returning the get content well the content is a JSON so we are returning a JSON we are returning a string JSON and here we are JSON we are decoding the JSON so the user info will contain a couple of fields. The first field will be national ID. And uh, there are a couple of other uh, fields which we will use it when we want to store the user. And in the second uh, part of this code is, you can see we are creating a new instance of a user and passing the specific parameters to this user model. So the first parameter is the name and the last name which we are grabbing from the request. And the third and the fourth parameter is the, uh, sorry, for third and the fourth argument is the national ID and the birth date. So as you can see, we are getting the national ID from the user info and uh, the birth date also, we are getting it from the user info. And we have a fifth uh, argument, which is the phone number, which is passed by the request. And then after all, we will basically return the JSON response and uh, we are wrapping it I mean, we are wrapping the user model with the JSON response. So if you go to the user model, you can see we have a constructor here, which we are passing the, pro the parameters and we are setting them. And we have um, all the properties here as a public. Uh, um, yeah, well, I mean, it is not object oriented because we should have a setter getter, but for the sake of this test, we, uh, we just simpl simplify this user model. And I've just set the, properties as a public so you can also i mean access them but yeah anyway so let's get back to the user controller we want to write a test for this code so the first thing we want to write a test for it is to mark the third party api endpoint that we are calling from our system so how we can mark this one mark this account service which we are using dependency injection here to inject to inject it into the user controller well uh, we can go now to the unit folder and create our first test and let's see how it works. Okay, so I'll create my first uh, test class. We I call it, I, okay. So, uh, in the unit folder, I need to create a, another directory. The directory is controller. And into these controllers, I will create a new class calling uh, user test. Okay, so. Uh, the first thing we want to do in the user test, we need to extend the test case class because for every test you want to write, you need to extend the test case PHP unit framework. So uh, before writing any test, I want to write down the scenarios that you want to write tests for them. So the first scenario is, is to, uh, okay, the first test will be, uh, okay get info method should accept the appropriate argument value um, 
well what, what do i mean with get appropriate actually i want to mark this method and be sure that this method accept the appropriate or the value that we are sending to this method so we somehow marking it and we are also somehow validating if this method accepting this value and the, the second uh, scenario I, I would like to write test for it is the user so as you can see here we are creating a new user with the parameters that we are passing to so I will say uh, write a test okay so write a test to accept the requirement requirement information when creating a new user instance a new user model or instance doesn't matter and the third scenario which I would like to write a test for it but you can also escape it is the response that uh, this store method will return for us so test if the response test if uh, store method if the store method returns the appropriate or the expected expected results okay so this is th I mean this is the third scenarios I would like to write test for them uh, they are pretty easy, but uh, I would like to explain more about marking in this uh, tutorial. So I will uh, start my first scenario with writing the first test. And you know the convention. I have already explained how is the convention that I'm using is a test. And then the method name, which is in this case is store test store should call get info with the specific parameters parameters sorry the test store should call get info with specific arguments not parameters so i fix this parameter to arguments now the first thing we want to do here is to create an instance of the uh, user controller so we say user controller equal new user controller in the user controller we need to pass uh, an account service an account class i mean so uh but what we what we're trying to do in this test, we're trying to uh, actually call get info with a specific argument. So we need to mark this get info from the account service. So what how to, how we can mark this? Um, we can define account equal uh, mark re mark and account should receive so. That should receive is mean I'm expecting this account class uh, to call get info method with request ID. The request ID could be request ID one, two, three, four, five, let's say, for example. And we pass this request ID to this and return. We should return uh, a JSON response. This JSON response should contain national ID. So national ID, which in this case it could be anything, say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the birth date, which also it could be anything. So Z1, Z1. So I'm expecting that this account called get info with this request id and return for me this national id with birth date so i will pass this account here to this user controller and when i'm passing this user controller uh, sorry i'm passing this account to this user controller uh, let's see what the account will be uh, actually in here so let's bear down this okay okay so the problem could be because of this mark remark because we are accepting uh, accepting an account uh, we are actually having a type int account 
so we also need the mockery to be a, a type of this account so I will say account class all right so now it will create an, a mock from this account service so now if we run it mm -hmm, did not perform any assertion because we are we have not called the method so user restore and into the restore as you can see here we are accepting a request so you can just pass it into request for now I just want to show you one thing Okay, as you can see, we are passing the mockery, and the mockery is a big class, I mean, full of junk thing. You can't understand anything about it. I just want to show you what we are passing. So, okay, we are passing now. Um, we are we created the mock, and we are expecting a getting full call, getting full method to get called with a specific uh, request ID and return actually this response for us. In here, we need to also pass a request, and the request needs to contain uh, some fields. The fields, as you can see, name, last name, and phone number. So name, which is, in this case, let's say my name, last name, in this case, my last name, and the phone number could be anything. Okay, so now if we call this user controller store request, I mean, mm, okay, there's a problem mm, because we have not passed the request ID. You know, when we are calling get info, okay, so we are expecting to have something in the request. So I'm expecting this method gets called with this request ID, but I have not, but I have not sent the request ID in the request here. So I need to send it in the request. I will say request ID uh, should be this. And okay, a method and an expected argument. No. Uh, oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. The request ID is this. Th that was the national ID. Okay, array return, and uh, because we need to. Okay, we're expecting an array, but we're expecting, sorry, a JSON string, but we are returning an array, so we need to JSON encode this. JSON encode. Okay. Now, if we run it again, as you can see, uh, one test has been run but no assertion so far so first of all let me explain for you what i did now in this test as you can see i have defined mockery mock and i pass an account because we need uh, the mock of type account class and uh, so we created an, a mockery account class and then we expect to the mockery or we expect the account uh, call get info with the request ID that we are expecting here and return this response for us. So we are defining a new user controller here. We're passing the account and we are defining a request and we are passing the whole information with the request ID that we are expecting. So now what should happen? We basically should expect that this get info call request ID but why there is no assertion no success assertion because at default PHP unit will not count um, the micro assertion uh, as a green assertion which you can see it here so we need to I mean modify the default behavior so we need to use the teardown function and in the teardown function we need to do one thing so I need to get the mockery, sorry, mockery, where's the mockery? Yeah, mockery, get container, container, and then this add, add, um,
Um, okay, let, let me let me grab this container get container get marking the exception count this count add to assertion count yes add to assertion count and then close the mockery so mockery close so what did I do I just uh, return the container I mean mockery get container and then I use the container to get the um, get exceptions ex expectation count and add them to the assertion count on every tier down so if I run it again now you can see one test one assertion and it run okay so um, now I need to play around with this test a little bit like for example I would like to change this from okay so how this test will help us I mean how this test will help our code so for example if some other developer comes and somehow change this request ID I mean I don't know why but let's say it changed this request ID from request ID to request ID what will happen in this case I mean the test should fail as you can see the test will be fail why because there is no request ID as this name okay so when you change it the test will fail so it is either your code will not I mean is not working fine or when you change your code you need to change the test too so the test will get succeed so the test will stop us from doing any changes in, in this uh, yeah so I hope uh, you like this um, uh, test uh, the second and the third scenario which I would like to write a test for them I will basically create a new uh, tutorial and in that tutorial I'll explain for you um, and write the test for you so see you in the next tutorial